Welcome to today's tutorial on Event Emitter in Angular 17. Event Emitter is an Angular abstraction that enables you to emit custom events in components, paving the way for components to communicate with each other. Throughout this video, we will explore how to leverage Event Emitter to create dynamic and responsive Angular applications. Let's get started. So first of all, I will create a child component and now make sure to declare that uh, import that component in the app component i'm using angular 17 and uh, i'm also using standalone components as you can see here that's why it was not declared automatically so now if you try to add that child you will see it is not visible in the suggestions as well now to make it available in the imports array you can simply add app component uh, you can simply add child component in it and now if you try to type it again you will see the suggestion is visible okay now let's go to the browser and see if it is visible you can see that child works text is available that is coming from the child component now in that child component let's define our event emitter in the ts file let's define my event is equal to new event emitter and the data type would be string you can type any other data type if you want to we'll define a function some method and here we will emit the event with the help of this function this start my event dot emit some string okay one of the most common use case for event emitter is to improve communication between parent and child components for example consider an e-commerce e application where a product component needs to inform the parent component when an item is added to the cart so let's create a component called product and now let's uh, import that product component in the app component and go to the product component and let's add a simple button add to cart and we will add a click event on it add to cart and now let's go to the ts file here we will define our output make sure to import it like this give it a name product added is equal to new event emitter and now let's create a function add to cart and here uh, i will be assuming that this product has an id of ones for that i will use this dot product added dot emit one okay now let's go, go to the parent component we will add this product component here like this and here we will be listening to the event that we just created product added and here i will call a function on product added event okay so now go to the app component.ts to create that missing function that we just used so on product added product id would be the payload that we will be getting from the child component so here we'll just simply console the product id that we just got and after that you can add additional logic you want so now let's give it a quick try and see how that works so go to the inspect click on the add to cart and you can see the console is showing the product id when properties in child component change it's often crucial to notify the parent imagine creating a rating component that allows users to rate a product which must keep the parent component synced with the user's rating so for that let us create another component app uh, rating so for that open the terminal ng generate c rating now let's go to that rating component add some basic code here i will add another list list and here i will use the for loop around it this is the latest syntax of for loop in angular 17 okay in that list i will add a click event that would be set rating within that list tag i will simply add if idx is less than current rating then we'll show this these characters now we need to define these missing variables like rating let's go to the ts file and here i will add ratings is equal to one two three four five let's define an input current rating is equal to zero by default we are giving it a zero value so we need to fix the syntax remove let and here we need to add track rating and here we need to use dollar sign and now we need to define this function okay and we need to receive the payload from that function parameter new rating type would be number and now uh, i will replace the current rating with a new one this dot rating change dot emit start 
current rating now we need to define this output as well to let the parent know about this change okay make you to import the event emitter here now let's go to the app.component.ts and let's import the rating component and now i will simply use it here this is how it looks like right now you can style it to make it better so if you click on that you will see that it is being updated we need to listen to uh, in the parent as well so for that let's go to the parent and listen to it so before that i will define a property uh, let me remove this function for now and i will add product rating is equal to three this is the default current rating that i will pass to it and now i will listen to the rating change event and we will call a function on rating change and i will pass the event to the parameter of this function and now let's define that missing function okay here i will console that new rating and after that you can write your own logic that you want to use in the product information now let's test it by default if you reload it it will uh, show the three stars failed you can change that value like this and it will be updated here as well now if you update the rating you will see that it will be visible in the console that this is a new rating all right as we wrap up our tutorial let's summarize some best practices when using event emitter use event emitter with output decorator to expose event emitters Keep data flow simple to reduce complexity in debugging. For complex communications, consider using services with observables. Always manage the state without mutating data directly from an event emitter. And if you subscribe to event emitters uh, manually, make sure to unsubscribe appropriately. Employing event emitter correctly can significantly enhance your Angular application by enabling efficient component communication and creating interactive experiences in for users thank you for joining the angular event emitter tutorial engage with us in the comments below and remember to like subscribe for more insightful angular content happy coding and see you in the next tutorial